All right, here's my the plunge cold tub. Super excited about this thing. It uh, makes the water super cold with this chiller down to 39 degrees. It's quite nice. It's a tub. It's a little weird to have a tub in your yard, but using it is pretty awesome. Um, it has a flaw though, which is the temperature you set is lost if the power goes out. And the reason that happens is the ink bird that they use right here. See, it's 77 degrees. If we change it, and then we unplug it for just a second. Doesn't matter how long. Hey, it kept it, 75 degrees. Isn't that great? Except for about three out of four times, it doesn't keep it. There you go, 77 degrees. So if that happened overnight, then your tub would warm up. This one has a heater. Um, I've unplugged it so that it doesn't actually warm up when this happens, but still, I lose the temperature. I have to constantly check it every day to make sure it didn't lose the setting. You can do it again. Doesn't matter what you set it to. Sometimes it remembers, sometimes it doesn't. Doesn't matter how long you have it unplugged either. It's just random. Lots of other people with the same problem. Boom, 77. So, I talked to customer support about it. They told me I had two options. I could send the whole tub back at my expense, and then I could upgrade to a better tub, which costs twice as much. This one costs $7,000. So, that seems pretty crazy that they send me a faulty product and then I'm gonna spend double with them. Or, I could try to replace the Inkbird with something else, but they said that voids my warranty. Except in the US, you can't void warranties like that. It's illegal. And anyway, the tub is nice. Um, I did have one other issue, is uh, the coating on this stinks. Like, this thing off-gasses VOCs. Like, I had to, to uh, put it in the sun for two days to get it to stop stinking. So, that was annoying, but it's fixed now. It's just this power outage problem. Here in Puerto Rico, a couple times a week you can lose power for a minute. And having this thing reset, it's just annoying. So, apparently half of the ink birds do this. I would like to find an ink bird that doesn't do this. I don't know how helpful support's going to be. But there you have it. I don't know if I could recommend buying one of these if you get brownouts in your area.